neutrino flux, because with that you can build a, a much more exact model, you know, of what, uh, you know, especially with earthquake prediction. Yeah, well, my, the model I use uh, for the neutrino is that the neutrino is oscillating. Well, we know that uh, neutrinos are oscillating anyway, but um, the neutrino is oscillating between the um, uh, size and the property of an electron and a positron. And that means if it is always oscillating, one time it is positive charged, the next time it's negative charged. In average, the charge is zero, but only the average is zero. The uh, effective value is not zero, but we are not able to, to measure. You, you see, if you compare it with your uh, power plants, you have in America, you have 110 volts and 60 hertz, isn't it? And mm -hmm. And uh, that means 60 times per second, the polarity is changing. So in yes. the average, in the average, the voltage is zero. But mm -hmm. if you want to measure, you need an effective value measurement device, and this measures 110 volts, because these measurement device has to follow the oscillations. But if you have oscillations like the neutrino, which are at very, very high frequencies, higher frequencies than your measurement devices accept, then you can't measure these oscillations. And the result is the only thing you are able to measure is the average. And this is zero. And this is why they say the, uh, the charge of a neutrino is uh, zero. But this is wrong. Mm -hmm. um, you see, as a physicist, you always have to uh, pay attention that if you say, I can't measure anything, you never are allowed to say that there is nothing. You mm -hmm. see, I, I say all these um, uh, uh, physicists who, who say there is nothing because they have measured nothing, I say, put your hands on, on the network and you will see that there is something inside, you see. Mm -hmm. Well, and Doctor, we only have uh, about a minute and a half left here. Is, yes. is there something you would like to uh, you know, talk about before we close the show? Yes. What I want to say is that I have written a new book which uh, is nearly one month old, not yet, not yet one month old, and we are just translating this book into English. The title will be Self-Consistent Electrodynamics. And this uh, book has to do with the development of the um, uh, German um, Helmholtz Gesellschaft in Berlin, who have... Um, developed magnetic monopoles. And these magnetic monopoles um, are a conflict to the theory of Maxwell, especially to the uh, fourth Maxwell equation that the divergence B is zero. And this is a real problem to physics, to the electrodynamics, to the classical electrodynamics, as um, if we have um, these result, then we are not able to um, to use uh, vector potential as is used everywhere in electrodynamics today in the classical okay. electrodynamics. And okay, well, doctor, the, doctor, yes. we're out of time. <laughs> okay, it was a fantastic show. I'd like to thank you yeah. for coming on the show today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good, and I okay, thank you thank for you. calling. Yes. <laughs>